Welcome to Sens Talk. My name is Brandon and I am your host. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, to all Canadians watching this. Hope you had a great holiday. But before we get into today's breaking news video, I just want to give you guys an update. It is October 10th. It's a Monday. And tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, we will be putting out our defenseman season preview. I'm going to go through all three defensive pairings, some defensive depth that we're going to have, and of course, call-ups that might be brought into the equation at certain points this season. So tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, we'll be having our yearly season defense defenseman preview so stay tuned for that but today we have some breaking news as the brass the hometown kid is back on a one-year $750,000 contract as Derek Broussard is back the 35 year old got a contract after starting camp on a PTO on the tryout he ends camp with a contract in the National Hockey League congratulations to Derek Broussard well earned contract by the way for Broussard in the preseason he played in four games getting three points one goal uh, one of those assists by the way we're on the power play and speaking of the power play Derek Broussard throughout the preseason got a lot of opportunities on the power play primarily on the second unit with guys like Shane Pinto which was actually one of the assists he got uh, I think it was against Montreal he scored Shane Pinto from Derek Broussard it's a nice setup from behind the net and that kind of brings me to the point as to why I think this is a good signing for Ottawa for depth reasons because going back to that example I just brought up look at this goal on your screen right now look at number 61 Derek Broussard in front of the net screening the goalie making the tendy kind of lose track of the puck which results in the goal a Shane Pinto edges towards the net, and Derek Broussard and his hockey IQ sees that, feeds him, goal for the Sanders. So that's kind of what you're going to get in Derek Broussard. As I mentioned in my forward season preview for the Ottawa Sanders, which by the way, if you haven't watched it, make sure to do so. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But as I just said in that video, I'm going to say it here, for a 13th forward or an extra forward for Ottawa... You want to have a player that can really be plugged in anywhere throughout the lineup. Let's say, God forbid, Brady Kachuk gets hurt. Derek Broussard would be able to fill in and be plugged in to that first line for a game or two. And that's exactly what you want for your extra forward. You, you don't want just a defensive specialist on you know sitting in the press box. You want to have a guy that can really do it all. That's what Derek Broussard can do. Last year, he had 19 points, 8 goals, and 46 games between Philadelphia and Edmonton. So like I just said, look, he's not an offensive dynamo, but he can still produce in the National Hockey League at a decent clip. I mean, 46 games played 19 points that's nearly half a point uh on average per game so for Derek Broussard he still has some offense to give he's a center so obviously a center who's played almost a thousand games in the National Hockey League can play defensively too you're you know guarding the center you know the middle of the ice of course you're good defensively he's a good two-way player but most importantly he still has some offense to give so for Ottawa and for Derek Broussard this is a great deal because Broussard gets to stay close to home he's from here I think he's from Hall Quebec which is obviously it's literally right over there. So he's basically at home, which is great for him, especially at age 35. I'm sure he kind of wants to play the last couple of years closer to home. So obviously he loves that. In fact, I know for a fact that he mentioned that he would not have signed anywhere else except Ottawa this offseason. So this is a great moment for him and his family, I'm sure, which obviously we love to see. But in terms of, you know, the business, you know, what he can bring to the table, he's a two-way player with some offense to give. He can be plugged really throughout the lineup. And of course, he was a part of that 2017 Eastern Conference Final squad, the best Senator squad since 2017. So he has some good memories to share to the locker room. Uh, and more importantly, has good... Um, he will have a good veteran presence, just like Claude Giroux will have in that locker room. Broussard can really help these players develop their game and be prepared for the big moments, like a playoff game potentially this year. Um, and as well, he's already loved in that locker room. I know he has a good relationship with players like Matthew Joseph and Thomas Shabbat. Uh, so overall, this is just a great signing, a slam dunk for Ottawa. It's a cheap contract, I believe league minimum. Uh, and more importantly, Broussard can really bring a good value to Ottawa's depth uh, in the forward core. So, you know, he is 49 games away from 1,000 NHL career games. I don't think he's going to hit that milestone this year, but hopefully he gets into roughly 15 to 30 games to get him closer to that milestone, and more importantly, to give him some game time too. I'm sure he would love, I'm sure he's itching. I'm sure he's itching to get into that lineup. So overall, great signing here for Ottawa, and I'm really excited to see Brass back in town. So welcome back to Ottawa, Derek Broussard. And by the way, it just dropped um, the waiver news. Dylan Gambrell 
not on waiver, so Ottawa will be starting with Dylan Gambrell and Dirk Broussard as the extra forwards. Besides that, thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. I'll see you later tonight at around 7 o'clock Eastern time for a defenseman season preview. Take care, and I'll see you then. Go Sins Go.